What is a blue dog? It's pretty much unexplainable, isn't it? Have you even heard of it? Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. Well, it does exist, and it's a feature of a brand new show on the Science Channel. It's called Unexplained Files, and Phyllis joins us right now and tell us about it. Well, I have a bizarre animal that's uh, on our ranch, and we can't figure out what it is. We have an idea, but there's too much of it that is unexplained, so the mystery continues on this uh, Texas Blue Dog. Well, Phyllis, when did you first become aware of it, and when did you say this could become a show? Well, we knew we had something different because the first time that I saw it, um, I was very perplexed. I've lived on a ranch all of my life. We've traveled all over the world and, and seen many, many animals in different countries. Um, but to come back to Texas and actually see this thing walking on the ranch, I had no idea what it was. In the beginning, I thought that it was sick. Um, but after watching it for two years, it was actually hit by a car in front of our ranch, and that was my opportunity to actually pick the animal up and bring it back into the ranch and uh, start investigating. Um, I've got some wonderful friends that are veterinarians, and they helped me. We did x-rays on it, trying to figure out why it has the hump in the back, trying to figure out why it has such a broad head, such a small snout. So that's when we did DNA on it, and the DNA came back on the maternal side that it was coyote, and on the paternal side, it was Mexican wolf. The problem is we've not had Mexican wolf in Texas in over 80 years. So the mystery began to unfold just on what the DNA was, not to mention the bizarre features of it, none which are indigenous to the coyote or the wolf. The, the blue eyes, uh, the shorter mandible, uh, this, all of this excess skin, the elongated neck, the stripes that are on it. It has no hair, yet it has this fuzz on it. Uh, it only has four, uh, it, four nipples total. Most canines have four nipples on each side. This one only has two on each side. And then the bizarre nodules that are on its rear end. So a lot of features of it that are unexplained, even though we know what the DNA says that it is. Well, Phyllis, what can we expect from the season of Unexplained Files? Well, it's interesting because I, I've encouraged the, any information that we can get out there and share with the public that they can come back to us, that it makes it an awesome story. And I'm happy to be part of it. And everybody says it happened to me for a reason. So it's been awesome. Some fabulous stories that have happened around the world that are unexplained just like this we see it we can't explain why it's like that some of the other specials that are coming up on the episodes are absolutely phenomenal and it's the same thing we see them they're credible eyewitnesses they're credible experts to it we just can't understand the idea that there is cattle mutilation going on just along the 37th parallel is phenomenal. That we have red rain in Sri Lanka is um, beyond the wildest imagination. And so that you'll be able to view this on the Science Channel is unbelievable that we have this at our disposal to watch and witness firsthand. And Phyllis, now that you have us totally intrigued, where can we watch the show? It airs Wednesday night, uh, August 28th, on the Science Channel, beginning 9 Eastern Time. And uh, then the continuing episodes are all fantastic. Everybody will thoroughly enjoy this new series of Unexplained Files. Well, Phyllis, we love asking this question. You're a truly successful woman. What advice would you give to the rest of us pursuing our dreams, given your success? You know, you just, you've got to follow it. I, I always said in the beginning, I had something different and I wanted to share it with the world. We're fortunate that we have places like the Science Channel that are willing to put it out there. I tell people, be observant. If you have something different, don't just rule it out because everybody else says it's nothing. That's one of the problems that I had with this. Everybody said it's just a mangy coyote. I knew better. And now we have proof that it's not that only because of my persistence and with the help of the Science Channel that puts it out to the public and lets them hear our story. Great advice. I'm glad we heard that today. Thank you so much and congratulations on the new show. Thanks, Con. It was great.